Welcome to how to calibrate your 9860 with a live load video. So the first thing we're going to do is set the indicator up so we can uh, scale it to uh, our uh, transfer standard model CX box. So we're going to go hit the mode button and then arrow up, down, up, which is the code to get into the settings. Hit the up button, changing this to Cal on 1. That's the mode that will do live load calibrations. Next, we hit the mode button and we're going to put the least significant digit on. So that's going to allow for the last digit to be active. Then we're going to hit the mode button. And here we can set the decimal point by using the arrow up and arrow down button. In this case, we're not going to have a decimal point. So we're going to leave it off the screen. But if you moved it up or down, it would move it from left to right. Now we're going to set the filter. We're going to leave it at the default settings. The description of these settings are in the back of the manual. So feel free to look at those. So the default setting is 90 for the first filter. And then for the filter band, it'll be 500. Leaving those values or entering them if needed. Now, the full scale or calibration value that we're going to calibrate this to is 10,000, so we'll call it 10,000 pounds. And uh, we'll type in that number using the uh, step key to get us to whatever digit we need to change, and then use the up or down key. Once we've got the value we want, we hit the mode button, it moves us to the next step. Scale comes up, but for this calibration method, we will just ignore it and hit mode and go to the next. FS means full scale. This is where we're going to set the full scale for the analog output. In this case, we're going to match it to the full scale of the system. So uh, 10,000 is what we set for the calibration value. For the full scale on this, we will set it to 10,000 as well. So that means that 10,000, you'll get um, a 10 volt output on your analog output. Hit the mode button again. Now these are for a series of different set points. We're not going to go through that right now, but um, this indicator has open collectors so it can trigger relays and based on whatever value it's set inside of these, uh, this indicator. So um, again, you can read the manual to uh, set these if you need them. I'm just going to keep uh, advancing all the way through. There's four different set points. Then there'll be uh, hysteresis value, which again has to do with set points. And then the BOD, we'll leave it at the default, which is showing on the screen, 115200. And then run. Now basically what that's doing is it's uh, saving the programming that we just did for the settings. Now we're going to do the actual cal. So the first thing that we're going to do is hit the tear button. Now we're going to perform the calibration. The first thing we're going to do is press the tear button. When we do that, tear illuminates and the display goes to zero. The next thing we're going to do is press the cal button. The cal light comes on and now we've entered into the cal mode. We're ready now to apply our load. We're going to do that by using the CX transfer box. putting on a load of 2 millivolt per volt, simulating that for a load cell. And now I'm going to hit Cal. When I do that, it captures that reading. So the 2 millivolt per volt now is associated with our full scale. I'm going to turn this back. Calibration is now complete. I'm going to tear the unit. So I pressed in the tear button. You can see it. it's not illuminated anymore. Then, I'm going to hold in the tear. And then the tear light comes back on. I'm re-teared. And as you can see, we get 10,000 on the screen. And the calibration is over. Thank you for coming and watching our video. And please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can catch our future videos that are coming out.